Alrighty, FST friends, here we go. Pause it if you need to. You might want to pause it, get everything down for a second. We're pretty much doing all of uh, a good chunk of Algebra 1 in one little concise lesson. So just a recap on linear functions. Alright, here we go. So slope is the slant of a line, right? How much it tilts. Um, the way that you can find a slope given two points that are on the line is this little formula, right? The change in the y over the change in the x. Just want to remind you about slope here, okay? So you can see I'm going to bring this a little bit closer for a second, okay? Do you see how the bigger the number gets, the steeper the slope gets? And then when it's negative, that flips it the other way, right? Okay? And so just some reminders about that. And I know you all successfully passed Algebra 1 to a certain extent. So here we go. We have parallel lines. They have the same slope. This is the symbol for parallel. We have perpendicular lines. When they cross each other, they form a 90 degree angle. And this is the symbol that we use in upside down capital T. We have slope intercept form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y intercept. Okay. Um, let's just do a couple of examples just to remind ourselves. So um, given y equals 2 thirds x, okay, if you were asked to state a line that's parallel to it, you could say, for example, there are many possibilities here, but you could say y equals 2 thirds x and then just change the y intercept. So I could say like plus 5, okay? And then for an example, based on the one that's written here in black, an example of a line that's perpendicular, okay, you remember that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So the opposite reciprocal of two-thirds would be negative 3 over 2x. And then plus whatever, you can add something or not add something as the y-intercept. You just need to make sure um, perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So here we go, same thing here. A line that's parallel to this one, y equals negative 3x plus 6, would be like y equals negative 3x minus 2, right? Same slope. And a line that's perpendicular to this one would be we want opposite reciprocal slope. So opposite of negative is positive, and then 3, which is really 3 over 1, we'll flip that over so it's 1 over 3 x and then plus whatever, okay? Last one, parallel y equals 1 fourth x um, plus 1, okay? And perpendicular, an example of a perpendicular line to this given one would be negative 4 over 1 or negative 4 x plus or minus whatever, okay? Let's just look at y equals mx plus b format and let's just practice our graphing so for example, y equals 1 half x plus 3. Let's just remember, you maybe want to start with the y-intercept and plot that. So where does it cross the y-axis? It crosses at 3, 1, 2, 3, boom. And then the slope is 1 over 2, a rise of uh, 1, a run of 2. So from there, you go up 1 and over 2, connect the dots. And that is how you graph lines. Just a reminder, let's look at one more. 2x plus 3y equals 6, okay? This one is not in y equals mx plus b form, but we can get it there if we go ahead and just subtract the 2x and then divide by 3. And now we have it in y equals mx plus b. And so now we'll go up to 2, and from there the slope is negative 2 over 3. So um, because it's negative, instead of going up and over, we're going to go down to and over 3, and connect the dots, and there we go. All right, uh, one more point to consider here is horizontal and vertical lines. Okay, so just a reminder, horizontal lines are simply y equals a number. Vertical lines are simply x equals a number. For example, y equals 3 or y equals negative 1, they're perfectly flat lines. And then x equals negative 2 or x equals 4, those are vertical lines. Okay, so let's take a look at this we problem here. We want to write the slope-intercept form of the line that is perpendicular to y minus 6 equals negative 3x, and it passes through negative 3 comma 2. All right, so let's just start with our line here. And if we just go ahead and add the 6 over to get it into y equals 
mx plus b form, now we're here. Now if we're looking for a line that's perpendicular to this one, then that means it's going to have the opposite reciprocal slope. So the opposite reciprocal of negative 3 is positive 1 over 3, okay? Um, further, we want our line that we're going to write for our final answer to pass through this point. Well, this is an x and this is a y, okay? So let's sub in negative 3 for x, let's sub in 2 for y, and then let's go ahead and solve for the b, okay? So if we do that, we're going to get 2 equals 1 third times negative 3, which is really negative 3 over 1, is negative 1 plus b. And if we just add the 1 over, plus 1 here, plus 1 here, we're going to get that the b is 3, okay? And so we have the m we want, we have, oh, I'm sorry, we have the, here's our m that we want because we wanted it to be perpendicular. We have the m we want, we have the b we want, and so now let's go ahead and write out the equation. One third x plus three, okay? All right, so here we go. Let's take a look at our u all problem. Let me move this down, pause it for a second. Okay, give this one a try, pause it, and the answer you should be getting is this. All right, good luck with your practice.